I probably took the least direct route to Christianity. Even though I grew up in church, the faith wasn't my own. It was very much my parents. And I felt like church was a show and you'd come to church on your Sunday best, but you never unpacked anything really. You never really uh, dove deep to get closer to God. It was just like, okay, here we come with our Bibles and now we're leaving with all of our junk still. And so I just felt like if that's the joy of the Lord. I don't really want it. And um, I chose to live my life on my own terms. And I felt like, like there had to be more. I just prayed, God, like, what are the promises on my life? And I got into my car and I got a study Bible. And um, that Bible, it changed my life. And it wasn't as if I walked out saved and ready for salvation, right? It took me, you know, at least a year to even like process and get my thoughts and actions in alignment with scripture. Reading the Bible for myself, even though I'd grown up in church, so much of what I got from the Bible was what the pastor said on Sunday. Okay, this is the God who created me, he loves me. It's not, it's not a book of rules where I can have the worst life, the most boring life possible. It's a book so I can have abundant life. I think when we have a block towards reading the Bible, there's something that we aren't submitting to God because we're afraid of what the Bible is gonna tell us about ourselves or re reveal to us. And I would say that whatever it is you're holding on to, God has something better for you. And it's just, it's so powerful to see how God can transform a situation and transform a person. I would say to anyone who is hesitant to share their story, to let that go, because that is really a product of shame, and there is no shame in Christ. There is a scripture that I love, and it says, you are a royal priesthood, and you're God's special possession. Like, he's brought you out of darkness, so you can, you know, share his marvelous light, right? And so if no one has seen, like, where he's brought you from, then, he doesn't get the, the benefit from that. Like only you know, and it's your secret. Like God's plan for my life is so much bigger than I even thought of. And he's blessed me, uh, totally undeserving, uh, but I'm, I'm grateful.